Hey, what's up everyone? This is Peter L. Newton, and welcome to this Unreal Movement Mechanics tutorial. I really want to say Unreal Tournament, but the movement mechanics provided in this tutorial aren't specific to Unreal Tournament. And so let's quickly go over what those are. We have the variable run speed, which is, as you can see, I'm moving quite slow right now. I scroll up once, I move a little faster, and I scroll to the max, and now I'm running at full speed. This might be more useful in the stealth type game. And that's it. We have also a double jump, seen in previous tutorials. We have dash, left and right. And you can also dash in the air. It clues forward and back. We also have the wall jump. So we also have the wall running. So the way this works is you do one jump, and then the second jump that you would typically do in the air, you press space again on the wall, and now will begin the wall running. But then you can also do another jump off the wall once you finish. So you can create some pretty cool combinations. Now there's also the regular wall jump. And lastly, there's a sprint. Which only lasts for a certain amount of stamina that you have created. Now there's also a wall dodge. So if you're pointing at, say, this angle, and you jump, and you jump again, it'll push you a little bit forward in the bouncing angle. And so it's just imagine if you're running towards a wall, and you were to jump off a wall, you'll jump in roughly the same angle you would in real life. You notice there's a, a little push right there. Last thing we want to show is the double jump with charge. And so this is a normal double jump. Look at how far I jump in the air. Just above that line. Now I'm going to hold the space bar for one, two seconds and get another jump. You can see I almost reached the second line. And so those are some of the movement mechanics that we'll go over in this series. One thing I want to go over before we get into that is is pacing. Some of the fundamentals of pacing is movement impetus. It's basically the will the player has to move. Why would this person move? Is there some drive behind the player to continue moving throughout your level? Is it inviting? Is there angles? Does it shape in a way that contours to movement? So for example, if you see these two slabs right here, you immediately want to run up to this wall and just ride it or jump it or do something because it's, look at everything else. It's shaped like boxes, literally. And so it's not really inviting at all. Even this area right here is a lot more inviting than the rest of this level for movement because this angles, this angles, and this angles. You just want to continue the flow that is created by this wall. And that creates a will to move your character. Another thing you want to cover is threat. Threat is the actual danger the player has. So that would be players that are close to the enemy. So for example, if you played Quake or Unreal Tournament, this would be something... Oh, this would basically just be the other players. That's all there is. So the actual threat would be the players, how close they can get to you. And this is what affects the pacing as well. If the player can get close to you, there's a sense that you have to keep moving. So another one I want to talk about is tension. Tension is the atmosphere or the mood of the game, or essentially the perceived fear in the game. Does this level feel like I, I want to keep moving or does it make me want to jump and shout my name out and that's simply it how does this game make you feel when you log in does it make you want to 
creep around corners and make you want to feel stealthy. You want to see who's around here, just shoot him real quick. Does it make you want to keep moving because that the world just feels uneasy and unsafe? The last thing we want to touch on is tempo. The tempo is the actions the player has to experience during gameplay. So in Unreal Tournament or Quake, again, there's this constant need to move. So the tempo of the game is pretty high. You have to keep moving. If you don't keep moving, you'll likely die. And so that creates the tempo of the game. That's why people call it fast-paced. It's this constant need to move. And it essentially gets your, your blood pumping. You know, it's real intense. It feels like you're just in the action because there's always this need to move. Even though there could be that time where you're by yourself, constantly moving, not finding anyone. But there's this fast, fast pace. And that's it. So pacing is something you really want to consider when implementing these mechanics. Though it can be fun to have every mechanic possible, you want to con 